Good morning. To Amy, to Christian, to Charity, to the Pearson family, to the Evans family, to Mayor Warren, Chief Simonelli, the RPD, and the RPD family, a family which I spent just under half my life with and understand the enormity of, of what today is and what it means. To everybody gathered here, I just want to extend my profound sorrow. To look around this room, uh, it makes me proud uh, of the, these families, city, this department, law enforcement profession, what an absolutely beautiful tribute this is. I don't write speeches or read speeches, so I'm just going to speak for a few minutes and some feelings that I have. The best way I could describe why we are here today is we have two men, and they live their life based on their decisions, and those decisions brought us to today. Darrell Pearson made all the right decisions. He finished school. He worked. He went off to war to serve our country with honor and courage. Came back, married, raising a beautiful family, went to college, studied to be a police officer, became a police officer, an outstanding one at that. Bought a home in his neighborhood where he grew up in East Rochester. To me, he epitomized the American dream and how we should all live our lives. We have another person who made different decisions in life, decisions that brought us to today, decisions that ended him up in prison on occasion, but he had the ability to make other decisions when he came out. He decided to get a gun, and on one fateful night, seven days ago today, he made a decision to take the life of Officer Darrell Pearson in what could be considered a cold-blooded murder. And when he fired that bullet that took that life, that bullet did not stop there. That bullet continued. That bullet went through the Pearson family, the Evans family. It went through the Rochester Police Department, the tactical section, the police family. It went through his friends, his neighbors. It went through East Rochester. It went through the entire city of Rochester, this region, this state, in many ways across this country. One decision, one tragic outcome, one bullet, and that's why we're here today. And it's such a tragedy. I have a hard time coming to grips with the fact that Daryl Pearson can go off to a war in Afghanistan and come home and lose his life on the streets of the city of Rochester. There is something horribly, horribly wrong with that picture. He was a great police officer. I knew him by name. He came on a job after I left the chief's job and was in the mayor's office. And I'll tell you how I knew his name, because the chief would always send over reports on crime. And here's a name that popped up time and time again for arrests, for taking guns off the street. And it's something that I remember. I remember the name. And you look at Daryl Pearson's career. He was a great cop. He was brave. He was loyal. He was committed. He worked hard. He was courageous. He was known for taking guns off our streets, known for making arrests and taking people that harm others and harm our, our citizens of the city off our streets. And one thing I would ask you to reflect upon is just how many lives could Daryl Pearson have saved with that work? We'll never know through prevention, but you know what? My sense is Daryl Pearson saved an awful lot of lives with what he had done. Police officers are often called upon to deal with intractable problems in our society and our community. They are called upon to address things that are not of their doing and, quite frankly, are almost impossible to address. But they do it. They do it with distinction and courage and bravery every night across this city, across this county, and across this country. And one thing I think needs to be reinforced, you don't just walk off the street one day and become a police officer. You don't raise your hand, walk in, apply, and the next thing you know, you're on the street. When you apply to be a police officer here in this city, and it's very similar across the state and this country, you go through weeks, if not months, of intensive testing over and over and over again. Every part of your life is scrutinized. And after several months of scrutiny, in this city, I would venture that for every 2,000 men and women who apply to be a police officer, maybe 30, 40, or 50 at the very most are selected. 
These men and women are very, very special. Everyone that wears a uniform, everyone you see in here today, is a very special person just by virtue of who they are and where they came from. And police officers do not deserve to be shot, stabbed, cursed at, spit upon, treated with dishonor or disrespect. They deserve much better. They deserve to be protected. And they can't be protected by the mayor or the police chief. They have to be protected by our community. And I've spent most of my life here, and I will say what I've said so many times, across this great and proud city is the overwhelming majority of good, decent, honest, hardworking people. They are everywhere. They permeate every neighborhood, every corner of Rochester. And it is time for those people to stand up and be counted. Because, folks, we have a cancer of violence that has affected our community for far too long. Very small number of people have created this cancer, and we have to look for a way to address that. And that cancer cost Officer Darrell Pearson his life. It's cost countless other lives in this community. And perhaps one of the greatest signs of respect that, that we can show Darrell Pearson is, with his life being lost, put a stake in the ground and perhaps make this a rallying point for it. This has to stop. Because if it goes on, and if we go on everyday business tomorrow and the next day, to me, it is a dishonor to this incredible young man for what he has done. And I would ask that everybody here, in some way, just try and be a part of that. That, to me, is the greatest tribute that we can give Daryl Peterson for what he has done, how he has served this community, how he has served this country. As a point of privilege, I don't know where he is in this room, but I would like to say to Officer Mike DePaulo, uh, first of all, you are an outstanding police officer. What you did last week, very few police officers across this country could have ever have done. And I know how cops think, and I know how cops second-guess themselves. And sir, I hope you never second-guess yourself. You are a tribute to this profession. You are a credit to this city and, and a credit to law enforcement across this country. You are a great cop, and you did a great job, and your partner is in heaven, and he is proud of you, and everybody in this room is proud of you for what you did last week, and I want to thank you. I'd like to close with this thought. It is not how Daryl Pearson lost his life which makes him a hero. It is how he lived his life. That is the most important thing. Daryl Pearson's life and how he lived it is an example to every single one of us. It is about family. It is about faith. It is about service. And because of what happened last week, his family will never be the same. They will not enjoy the things that many of us will enjoy with our, our children, our families. We have to remember and pay tribute to him, remember what he did. That, to me, that epitomizes everything. So in closing, I just would like to close by saying to Amy and to Pearson and the Evans family, uh, I'm going to say God bless you. I'm so sorry for what you're going through. Uh, you will be in our thoughts and prayers. To every police officer here, I would like to also say God bless each and every one of you. And I will pray, and we should all pray for one thing, that every police officer in this room, around this state, around this country, has the opportunity that Daryl Pearson did not have after last week to serve your communities and to be able to go home at night and spend time with your family. And we pray to God you stay safe for the rest of your careers and you don't ever have to go through what the Pearson family is going through today and what these police officers are going through today as well. Thank you and God bless you.